Welcome to Ancient Devotion. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Saint Andrew Christmas Novena The Saint Andrew Christmas Novena is traditionally recited 15 times per day starting on November 30th, which is St. Andrew's Feast Day, until Christmas Eve, 24th of December. Hail and blessed be the hour and moment in which the Son of God was born of the Most Pure Virgin Mary at midnight in Bethlehem, in the piercing cold in that hour vouchsafe, I beseech thee, O my God, to hear my prayer and grant my desires. Mention your request here. Through the merits of our Saviour Jesus Christ and of His Blessed Mother. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be Thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. About Saint Andrew the Apostle Saint Andrew, also known as Andrew the Apostle, was a Christian apostle and the older brother to Saint Peter. According to the New Testament, Andrew was born in the village of Bethsaida of the Sea of Galilee during the early first century. Much like his younger brother, Simon Peter, Andrew was also a fisherman. Andrew's very name means strong and he was known for having good social skills. In the Gospel of Matthew, it is said Jesus was walking 
along the shore of the Sea of Galilee and saw Andrew and Simon Peter fishing. It is then he asked the two to become disciples and fishers of men. In the Gospel of Luke, Andrew is not initially named. It describes Jesus using a boat believed to be solely Simon's to preach to the multitudes and catch a large amount of fish on a night that was originally was dry. Later in Luke chapter 5 verse 7, it mentions Simon was not the only fisherman on the boat, but it is not until Luke chapter 6 verse 14 that there is a talk of Andrew being Simon Peter's brother. However, the Gospel of John tells a separate story, stating Andrew was a disciple of John the Baptist. When Jesus walked by one day, John the Baptist stated, Behold the Lamb of God! It is then that Andrew and another made the decision to follow Jesus. Little else is said about Andrew in the Gospels, but it is believed Andrew was one of the closer disciples to Jesus. It was he who told Jesus about the boy with the loaves and fishes. According to John chapter 6 verse 8, when Philip wanted to speak to Jesus about the Greeks seeking him, he spoke to Andrew first. Andrew was also present at the Last Supper. Per Christian tradition, Andrew went on to preach the good news around the shores of the Black Sea and throughout what is now Greece and Turkey. Andrew was martyred by crucifixion in Patras. He was bound rather than nailed to a cross, as is described in the Acts of Andrew. He was crucified on a cross form known as Crux de Cusata, which is an axe-shaped cross or a salt tire. Today, this is commonly referred to as St. Andrew's Cross. It is believed Andrew requested to be crucified this way because he deemed himself unworthy to be crucified on the same type of cross as Jesus. Andrew's remains were originally preserved at Patras. However, some believe St. Regulus, who was a monk at Patras, received a vision telling him to hide some of Andrew's bones. Shortly after Regulus' dream, many of Andrew's relics were transferred to Constantinople by order of Roman Emperor Constantius II around 357. Regulus later received orders in a second dream, telling him to take the bones to the ends of the earth. He was to build a shrine for them wherever he shipwrecked. He landed on the coast of Fife, Scotland. In September 1964, Pope Paul had all of St. Andrew's relics that ended up in Vatican City sent back to Patras. Now, many of Andrew's relics and the cross on which he was martyred are kept in the church of St. Andrew in Patras. 
Saint Andrew is venerated in Georgia as the first preacher of Christianity in that territory and in Cyprus for having struck the rocks, creating a gush of healing waters upon landing on the shore. His saltire cross is featured on the flag of Scotland and is represented in much of his iconography. He is commonly portrayed as an old man with long white hair and a beard, often holding the gospel, book or a scroll. Saint Andrew is the patron saint of fishermen and singers. He is also the patron saint to several countries and cities including Scotland, Romania, Russia, Ukraine and Patras and his feast day is celebrated on November 30th. Dear followers of Christ, if you want this prayer for recitation purpose, please refer to our description box. Remember to recite this prayer 15 times per day and end it with Our Father, Hail Mary and Glory Be. We pray that our merciful God, with the intercession of Saint Andrew, will hear your prayer. Amen. <laughs>